What's going on, guilty guys and gals? Welcome back to Your Turn to Die. Uh, this one's going to be a little bit shorter today. <laughs> I think I've said that in the last, like, four episodes. But it's because I am super low energy right now. <laughs> I recorded a video earlier, and I've just been, like, busy all day. It's just been horrifying. <laughs> meow! Where'd you go? Meow! Seaweed head! <laughs> Everyone stop! Let's listen for his footsteps and find out where he's going. Well, that's certainly not going to help. Ah! Loud! What's this noise? I can't hear jack shit. Uh, it's the first three seconds of the video. Hey, I wonder what that is. Some beanie man somewhere. No, oh, look over there. Something's coming closer. Oh, it's a monster. Well, we'll do the mash. <laughs> Wrong holiday. <laughs> I keep forgetting it's not going to be Valentine's Day tomorrow. It's just a book. Okay. A book's attacking us? It's so noisy in here, what the hell? It's okay, it's just a book. Let's calmly deal with it and chase Beanie Man. For now, we need to focus on an obstructor in front of us. I would get dolls that have feet, but how the hell is the book floating in midair? <laughs> um. Can't help being distracted by this noise. I'll go find out where it's coming from. Uh, probably not helpful. I'll sniff out any suspicious smells. <laughs> or he's, that's me. Uh, uh, I'll not recover a bookcase. I have to crash right onto them. Let's see. Who's afraid of a book? I'll beat it down with my fists. <laughs> I feel like you're going to get your fist chomped off. Um, the bookshelves are probably bolted in place, I'm guessing, because they're, there's some sort of mechanism in this room, so I doubt you'd be able to move them. Um, let's go with this. I cut a whiff of gunpowder. Woof. Gunpowder? Found it. Meow. Big sister, this was it. Woof. Taint handheld fireworks. Wouldn't it be chaos if we use this in here? I'm going to use it. The book is making rustling sounds and began to circle through the air. Another book started floating. Th they're multiplying? I see. Now this is a pickle. Oh boy. <laughs> Shall we light the fireworks? It would be dangerous to play with fire here. Um, <laughs> I don't know if there's any point in saving, but I feel like, yeah, you know, um, you know what? Go see what that noise is. You got the magician's ears after all. I just heard it there. Rico took a smartphone from a gap between the bookshelf. It's usable. It's unusable. As usual, it's unusable. Okay, that unlocked two people. Books are noisily clacking their teeth. Uh, they keep on multiplying? Okay, and Connor's here now. Connor knows where the noise is coming from. She'll go get it. Uh, Rico's already handled that. Um, if you've got anything that makes noise, I'll crush it for you. If you've got anything making noise, I'll crush it for you. <sighs> How annoying. Give it to me. I'll pound any noise making garbage into dust. Well, I mean... Ranmaro's got those, like, fighter's bandages on his hands. I feel like he can... Then again, I'm kind of scared of you, so I'd... I don't know which one would be better to kill this noise. Because they're books, right? Haha, <laughs> that's like a library. We gotta we gotta stop the noise, because that's why they're mad, right? Setting off the fireworks would probably make more up here. Interesting. <laughs> um, try it. Come on. Smartphone broke and stopped making noise. How's that? It's in pieces now. The books are flying around as if to show off. The books all went to attack Hayasaka. <laughs> Why is it always me? Hayasaka quickly hid in a bookshelf to escape danger. They're going to attack us. I'll catch them and put them back on the shelves. You know what? That honestly wouldn't be a bad idea if they didn't have giant teeth. I don't know if that's uh, it's gonna work out. <laughs> um, that said, smartphone's gone. So, they they didn't disappear. <laughs> this is this is unfortunate. Uh, part of me wants to go with um, I don't know. I feel like it's got to be um, it's got to be something like what's the word I'm looking for? I told you guys I was tired. This is gonna be annoying. Um, thematic to a library, right? We've got to do something thematic to the books. Um, so, I don't know. Try it, buddy. 
<laughs> nice one. Oh, he got one. I did it, Keen. I put it away on the shelf. You're amazing. Well, now so did the other books, too. Woof. Uh, give me a break. I doubt I can do more than just that. Still, I feel as if it bought us a little time. The books are looking menacingly at Hayasaka. They really want to get that guy. Um. So, okay. Putting the book on the bookshelf did work, but now I can't do that anymore. Great. <laughs> I kind of just want to go with that. The noise making garbage is gone. We could light the fireworks. So basically, we were either lighting the fireworks, knocking over a bookcase, or punching them. It's gotta be the fireworks, right? Do it! <laughs> Did we all die? <laughs> the room caught fire. <laughs> no way! Is the fire spreading so much? We can't even fight like this. No. Ooh, this isn't right! Uh, he's not right around! Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> this is why we save. I really didn't think that was gonna work, but, you know, the other option is just punch it. <laughs> At least that one, like, came from progress we made, right? Okay. We're going with the crazy ideas anyway, just punch it. Ha! Huh, figured it'd be no match. Yeah. The hell? An another book just came out! Yeah, okay. The books are noisily clacking their teeth. They began to circle through the air. Yet another book. Great. That one's more menacing than the other one, I think. Um, I, do, I don't... Do it, then. <laughs> Kapa! Yeah, I didn't think so. Yeah, it hurts! Enzo, you okay? Oh, I'm sorry, that didn't go well at all. How are we gonna handle this fight them head on? We're in nine bucks. Now, come down and fight Muscle Gorilla fair and square. <laughs> That'd be Ern's own can of worms. Fighting books with books. <laughs> come down by tossing books in their way. Um, well, we know this doesn't work, and these two want to cancel the noise we've already canceled out, right? So, it's gotta be Gutaro. I guess I'm gonna save again just in case. Because obviously we are, uh, I'm pretty sure once we get past five books, it's, it's over. <laughs> Just do it. <laughs> Just throw books at them. He is a pitcher, right? Well, he's a baseball player. That doesn't exactly mean he's a pitcher. Okay, so there's some other noise in this room then. Books are floating around quietly looking at one another. That's some strange movement. Doesn't this seem bad? Yeah, um... Kana, then. I found it. Here it is. An alarm clock. There's more than one? Okay. Huh? How do we set the noise? I don't know. Book attack. Oh! Oh, boy. <laughs> And this is why it's a shorter episode today. Okay, we're back. <laughs> um, so Kana has to go find the noise. Because there's another noise that, you know, I don't know. <laughs> it didn't occur to me there could be more than one. I thought I was just wasting my time, but oh well. And another book comes out. Maybe we should respect good manners. See, that's what I was trying to do. I just didn't know there were two noise-making machines. What is she doing? The alarm clock broke and stopped making noise. I feel, I feel a little refreshed now. Looks are floating around quietly, looking at one another. Okay. Everybody stop. This is a library. Let's be quiet. Yeah. <laughs> the books return to their original shelves. Be quiet in the library, I suppose. Silence returned to the library. 
I do okay shooting specs. <laughs> I don't know, I guess that's just the voice I'm going with this time. <laughs> I'm all right. More importantly, where's Beanie Man? He got away. Oh, I need to find him quickly. Or Sarah's collar. Right, my collar. When I bring my hand near it, a red light shines on my skin. How many minutes passed there? Not good. If I don't hurry, it'll... Huh? My collar is tightening? <laughs> Sarah? No, it's, it's my imagination. I know. I know, don't I? I've overcome this kind of thing again and again. Again and... I don't want to die. You could never get used to this. Pan Pan. <laughs> no, I can't look uneasy. My allies are watching. Providing everyone support, so I... <sighs> Please, let Connor do it. I feel a warm hand on my back. Oh, jeez. When we first met, you calmed me down like this, Sarah. What are you doing, Connor? Stop. It's okay. I don't intend to become a sacrifice. I'm sure we can do something. Let's find Beanie Man, okay? Kana. Well, I respect the attitude, Kana. Keiji gently touched Kana's shoulder. Ah! It's Mr. X Policeman turn. Gotta apprehend the bad guy. It's Mr. X Policeman turn. Hmm. That's the ticket, Keiji. Keiji. <laughs> it's uncouth for adults to make a kid cross a dangerous bridge. Mm hmm. Now, we need everyone on this. Let's split up again and search. Yeah, we're gonna find him and end this. We'll definitely find him. Ah, let's go. Everyone, thank you. All right, well, book time. Uh, there was one in the copy room for sure. A yellow book. On the back it says, please return on time. Seems this book was borrowed from the library. Tin yellow book. Oh, it's summarizing that physical exam stuff that was on the computer. Oh, interesting. Can we actually read it? Nope. <laughs> um, there was one in the classroom. A green book. Whoa, there's something written in it. Really? Don't tell me it's info on our pasts. N no, it's not that. Look. Hey there, it's me! For death camp participants around the nation troubled by obstructors, I bear good tidings. Believe it or not, I'll tell you the weakness of the strongest obstructor doll, Meeple. The, the, the manipulator doll? It's the crevice in her back! Remember this and you'll soon be an obstructor master! One of the obstructor's weaknesses. Annoyingly written, but it is good to know. True, though I hope we never have to meet this strongest obstructor. Yeah, obviously the one with freaking pancakes and syrup on her head is Maple. Like, you know. Was there one in here? I didn't actually remember to look. Oh, people are in here. If I see Beanie Man on these security cameras, I'll let you know over the PA system. Ah, uh, that's actually very smart. <laughs> Even though there's security cameras, I don't see Beanie Man anywhere. He must be moving in their blind spots. <laughs> what a guy. Wow, there's a lot of people here. Nope, that's just a light. Okay. KG. Even when he's facing away, it feels like he's watching me. Maybe he's got eyes on the back of his head. Yep, you discovered my secret. Not here, huh? Katie's life is on the line. I have to find him. The series face is cool and all, but don't get too worked up. Come to think of it, Sarah, have you seen the library books anywhere? Oof, we know why that's important. Just a little curious. I think I've seen him around. Hmm. In the discussion room? In the discussion room, I believe. Discussion room? You haven't held hands with Hanako yet? Oh, right. That's what that room with Maple is called. Guess your friendly policeman moves a bit slow, believe it or not. Sheesh, I'm being serious here. <laughs> Look at him. Should have picked up his son when I had the chance. Woof. Seems pretty open. Uh, I can't imagine there's many places you could hide here. <laughs> that's true. Um... Yeah, I got everything on this one. Oh, right. The elevator doesn't actually do anything <laughs> anymore. <laughs> I have to do it this way. Um, so we'll go to the discussion room first. No, go away. Ah, oh, welcome. You came back. So only pairs can enter this room, right? Beanie Man wouldn't be here. 
That's exactly why he might be. Uh, I guess that's true. A floor master can do whatever. Floor master? You mean Hiori? Oh, right. That's his real name. Could you tell us about him? Hiori. Hiori, Hiori. She, she's acting kind of funny, huh? <laughs> no kidding. For now, let's search this room. I created a girlfriend for myself. She's emotionally manipulative, just the way I like them. <laughs> Wouldn't this be a book from the library? Take it. You're stealing my book! Yep, and we're out here. What a shame, are you going already? Um, how bad, we're in a hurry. It's okay, you two look busy. It must be so hard. Hey, have you become friends? Friends. I don't really like him. We're allies. <laughs> I'm happy you're getting along. Come again. <laughs> Where the hell's the last book gonna be? The goddamn li li library. <laughs> yeah, it probably is in the library. Uh, not in the portrait room. There should be. There would be two on each floor, right? Unless there, unless I counted wrong and there wasn't actually four slots, in which case I'm crazy. No, there's a cyan book missing still. There's an unnatural gap in the red books. Insert. Bonk. Natural gap in the green books. Bonk. Natural gap in the yellow books. Bonk. There's a natural gap in the blue books. I have to find where the hell the blue book is. KG didn't even have a dialogue option for that one. Wait, I've already been here. What am I doing? Is it over here? Actually, maybe now if I go talk to KG, he'll have different information. KG's life is on the line. Yes, yes, yes. Just a little curious. I don't know. Where you go, Sarah? Even when you don't know, you said it so boldly. I'll just praise me no matter what. Yeah. <laughs> We're sure it's not in here. This would be a good place for one. No. How about down here? Also, didn't I have like a speaker and stuff? Where did those go? <laughs> How about here? Oh, hey, do these two. We've def we'll definitely find him, Sarah. I'll do my best. Thought he might have been right under our noses and gone back to his coffin, but I guess not. It's not a bad bet. They wouldn't like put it in one of these. That would be too uh, annoying. <laughs> How about uh, where we found the map? Nope. Uh, I doubt it's the boxing ring, but I haven't been there yet, so you never know. Um, Sarah, I'm a little curious about something. The knife we used for the puzzle here, it isn't lying around anywhere. Huh? So does someone have it? Who cut the who cut the ring? I don't even remember. Was it him? Kermada's thing is heading to a hole. There's something in the back of here, but I can't reach it. There's something there. It's a blue book. It's something about returning it on time. If you want your hands on it, bring that pretty wrestler old timer. What? Kitaro. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's right. He thinks he's uh exactly different than what he is. Yo, sir, you found anything? We need you, Kutaro. We need your might. Don't know what you mean, but sure. Let's get rolling, man. Let's get rolling. Jeez. Oh, now I can only go here. Only good things can happen when that's the... So slow. Hurry up and get it. You're really going to talk to me like that? <laughs> Kutaro reached into the hole and got the book. <laughs> it's up and wet. Should be able to make out bits and pieces, at least. Let's see. When Shin saw me today, he once again gave me a smile and playfully said good morning. Oh. What's this creepy book, a diary? Shin. Sarah, the front cover says Shin Tsukimi AI test data. Hmm? Hmm? AI test data? You don't mean... Is this an experiment log Beanie Man wrote? Um, Sarah... Is it okay if Kana inspects that book? Huh? Please, I want to know at least a little more about So. Kana still hardly knows anything about him. She wants to know why So risked his life to protect her. Protect you? Hey now, haven't you guys been voting and killing each other? 
or try and make it some heartwarming story. In the end, you guys forsook that so guy. Why, you... Shut your trap! It's fine. Ever since Kana came here and got separated from her sister, part of her's been thinking that maybe it'd be easier just to die. <laughs> Why does he look so unperturbed? <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's just the eyebrows. But so taught her. And you absolutely shouldn't lose. There won't be a way unless we believe. Uh-huh. <laughs> You're a real idiot. <laughs> The hell do you mean you shouldn't lose? Huh? You mean you gotta win, right? Ain't this a match against Asanaru? A match? Hey, old man Kitaro, you're an athlete too, so you ought to learn. You ought to have learned this. Not losing and winning are completely different things, little missy. P please don't call me little missy. Brad. That's worse! Kana, I can't give this to you yet. Sarah? Sorry, we might need it for a puzzle. I see. So later, after this game of tag, I want you to investigate it yourself. So that we can win. Yes. <laughs> That's right. First we'll win the game of tag. Let's resume our search, Master. Quit with that already. <laughs> I'm still glad he got stuck with the, the annoying doll. Not to say that Mai isn't... Uh, good but you know <laughs> you know the coying one that'll make sure he doesn't slink off and do anything untrustworthy inserted the book oh god is this an elevator the entire library is an elevator Pfft, a library bookcase okay what's this there's a heck of a sound what's this stairs Beanie man might be up there sir senpai go on ahead we'll call everyone over the pa all right, let's move, sir. Idiot, my head's going to fly off. You watch here that Beanie Man doesn't escape until the broadcast ends. Roger that. We just got to go, sir. Right, we won't let him get away again. <laughs> Boy. Wait, what? <laughs> Are we just going? Wait, I thought we were waiting for everybody else over the PA. <laughs> Why are we just going? Okay. Nothing bad could happen. What? Why do I keep doing that? It's just... Oh god, he's, he's, it's a Paper Mario battle from Origami King. We're gonna have to spin the rings and I'm not very good at it, so this isn't gonna go well. Hey, buddy. Beanie Man! <laughs> so you came! Well, are you done passing around that dirty roll of being it? Uh, that's not it at all. We're all allies. Is that so? That's perfect in its own way. How beautiful! More importantly, just checking, but a gun is against the rules of tag, right? Sure. As long as you're going to follow the rules. Keep this waiting, Beanie Man. We won't, let, or, we won't let you run anymore. Now he's skittering around. Skittering. I won't forgive you even if you apologize. No. Nope. Now this is troubling. You're being disturbingly cocky. No, I really am troubled. Because, look, I don't even have a collar to play tag with. Uh, what do we do? Even if we tag him, there's no point. No way. <laughs> I did say you should have given me back that collar, didn't I? What will you do? If you give it back, I'll put it on. But of course, only once you leave here. Slowly. <laughs> or else, do you want us to kill each other violently after all? Take your pick, Miss Sarah. <sighs> Enough. <laughs> what is it, Gagey? It's just strange, isn't it? It's too good to be true. Feels like you've got something planned. Planned? Can't see this feudal chase as anything but a time waster. Beanie Man, I wonder if you're waiting for something to happen within us. Within? Our allies? You mean the dummies are gonna do something? That's right. Ultimately, they're assassins sent by Beanie Man. 
Maybe they have some kind of mission. <laughs> Are you having kids with Beanie Man? No, but he did they death with the same dangerous traps. That's true. Come to think of it, why aren't Kyutaro and Mai here? <sighs> it can't be. Are the dummies aimed to... It's very fun, Grand Muscle Gorilla. Meow. But that ain't the game of tag. Can at least one pair stay here and watch him, please? Please? I want to display all the places we've been. Where? Where's Kitaro? Because Sarah, where the graves are. I looked up at the monitor showing the cemetery. Well, Kitaro. <laughs> Sorry, Master. You. I was always thinking of when to do it. Why would you? <laughs> I'll tell you. The true objective of us dummies is to kill our partner before Beanie Man dies. It's the only way we can survive. Uh -huh. Have the dummies been waiting for an opportunity from the start? <laughs> Such a terrible riddle, isn't it? Princess Sarah, we have to go! Y yeah, to Kitaro. I wonder if you'll make it. Well, I'm glad it was Kitaro at least. <laughs> I'm sorry to people who like Kitaro, I, I just don't really. It's just that one, it's fine. We ran as fast as we could. Nearly tripping over ourselves, we headed to the cemetery where Kitaro was. A large knife stabbed into his back. The blood pouring out was burned into my mind. It's okay. If anyone can survive that, it's Kutaro. That is true. <clears throat> Too bad we don't have Saflin. <laughs> Kutaro! What the gorilla? Where are you? <clears throat> Did you put him in the grave? <laughs> Did he kill her? Straight up? <clears throat> it's okay. I'm alright. Kutaro. Never been more glad about working on my body than today. Tell ya. How'd she screw that up? What a moron. To get killed before you could even... I ain't killed her. Huh? Just knocked her away a little. She probably just shut down. What the? You didn't kill her? Are you stupid? Why would you go easy on her? She seriously meant to take your life. That ain't what she really thinks. That goes for all you guys, right? Beanie Man's got your lives in his hands. So you're just being forced to do this, right? <laughs> We're the same, you and us. Kitaro. Just stop this. I'm sick of us pinning death to each other. Oh. Work with us, dummies. It's <laughs> oh, kind of unfortunate to name that. What are you saying? We won't do nothing to you guys, Hanako. So let's get through this. You guys too. Don't be stupid. Didn't you hear the rules? One or the other has to die. We... I'm doing as you're told. Is doing as you're told gonna lead to victory? We're gonna win. Right, Kurumata? If somebody turns traitor, how are we gonna see victory? We all gonna believe where no miracle's gonna happen. We, we're gonna become true allies now. Kitaro is crying, not from the pain of his wound. His heartfelt cry is shaking the room. Let me treat that, Kitaro. Renmaro, idiot, how can you fall for that? Oh, shut up. Shoot, we've got n nothing to use for t treatment, B but I wonder if we can do something. All I've got is this hood, but uh, should I tear it up to help us stop the bleeding? You're all such idiots. I mean, why not? These guys are interesting. Seriously now, you picture defying us and winning little Miss Schoolgirl? Shut up. All right, the bleeding stopped. It ain't as bad as it looks. Doesn't really seem that way to me. Hey, G. Sit down. At least get some rest. Mike can't move either. You can't leave an ally behind, right? <laughs> you got that right. 
If we find anything for medical treatment, we'll bring it right away. Don't sweat that. Focus on doing what you gotta do. Yeah. I feel it. A sense of unity. Trust in the truest sense. Kitaro is connected himself. He's bonded with us. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> I'm not going to betray you anymore, all right? That's all in the past. It might have been five times now, but look, it's different, okay? Now that I've been stabbed, it's like a they, it's connected my brain to the rest of my body, and I understand. Now, it's about to end this game of tag. Gotta catch a beanie man and figure something out. Right. We're not going to leave them both here alone, right? We're going to leave at least one person with them, right? <laughs> no need to search. Tag is over. You put on a spare collar? Showing yourself as boldly as always. Going to flaunt your gun again? <laughs> no chest at all, huh? Fine, I'll give it to you. Beanie Man took something out of his pocket and tossed it toward KG. Hmm? This is... <laughs> it's my... Why... Why do you have why do you have the one from Keiji suddenly began writhing. What is it? Get that man. Uh, what's happened to Keiji, I wonder? Why do you <laughs> Did it bring back some bad memories? Mm. So that's why you sought to join the force. Then your goal was to become a friendly neighborhood policeman? No, I just want to return it as I promised. His good luck charm. <laughs> then go and give it to him. If he's still police, you'll see him soon. Right, his name was... Him, huh? No, that won't be possible. <laughs> he left the force, I'm sorry. I is that so? Even though he had his child, I suppose he took another path. You could say that. If you mean the path to the graveyard... <laughs> <laughs> so what are we doing now? <laughs> are we just touching him again? Oh, okay. That guy, huh? Yeah, he quit, sure enough. So he was your co-worker? Yep, but I wouldn't get involved with him. Huh? Sorry to say it here, but he was fired for trying to expose a certain darkness among the police. He was always devoted to justice, so he could be, be a parent his kid would look up to. A darkness? What exactly was it? Dunno. If I did, I might get fired too. Oh jeez. I skipped that. Something, something, something. It was Miss Megumi. Keep an eye on her too, so long as you want to stay with the police. My head. <clears throat> Is his head gonna explode? Like, what's going on, buddy? <laughs> oh boy. Calling all units. Suspect has a gun. No civilians present. You are authorized to fire. Don't let him flee the scene. There's no way to run. Drop your gun. Ooh ah. Damn it! He's lost his cool. <laughs> I'll fire a warning shot. We need to stop him. Keiji, watch out! He's gonna shoot us. This can't be. That shouldn't have happened. I, I wasn't aiming for... Katie, are you okay? I'm alright, but... Uh, the suspect... <gasps> I shouldn't have noticed. I shouldn't have seen his face. Hmm. Jesus! Wow. No way. Uh... Yeah, well, I had a feeling that's who it was that he shot, but, you know. What a strange thing. Turns out the criminal didn't even have a gun. There were no witnesses, so Megumi used her position to suppress the incident. She wanted to hide the murder as a subordinate of self-defense. Why do you know? <laughs> How much of a grasp do you have on the police? How much indeed. Enough to feed false info about the gun. And enough to insert a fired policeman into your tragic story, maybe? K 
KG, watch out! He's gonna shoot! <laughs> Just as good an actor as I was then, aren't I? Whoa, wait, he was there? I didn't realize that's what he was saying. Oh, wow. <laughs> I see. So that's it. Just shoot him, KG, please. I'll kill you. I'm going to kill you. Well, you seem motivated. <laughs> Oh boy, here we go. Dwing, 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 dwing. Nice, how nice hatred is. It lets me satisfy a person 100%. Now you die, Beanie Man. <laughs> Let us play on the greatest of stages. What is this? A grave for broken dolls. Beanie Man and KG are staring each other down. Come down, KG. Let's work together to corner him. Ooh, listen to the music. <laughs> KG, kind of will block his escape. Please take Beanie Man. Okay. Ain't no need for compassion. Shoot, KG. Oh, wait. If KG kills him, he can't tag out. That's probably what it is. Okay. I look for something to use in a weapon. Well. Yeah, that's actually that's actually an interesting way to make it so that we don't just kill him because you know I, I I'm totally okay with that <laughs> hey, it's the muse he's too fast for Connor to keep up we need to work together more okay what's well, Beanie man and cage are staring each other down <laughs> dummies won't you help uh, hold on if Beanie man really dies from tag what's gonna happen to us huh well can say we're unified, but KG seriously aiming to kill him. What? If we lose, KG will... Be ready, paying attention to me, I'll approach from his blind spot. <laughs> okay. Or... Please, Karamata, help me catch Beanie Man. Um... I really don't know if he's going to help, so... Kitaro, come on, man. Okay, maybe don't make such huge lumbering noises. I'm close. It's okay. I won't let him notice me. Give me the signal when it's a good time and I'll grab his leg. Okay. KG, it won't turn out very well if you shoot me in anger, you know. Beanie Man kicked a doll head that was lying around at KG. KG took a direct hit and lost his balance. Oh, jeez. KG! Damn it. Beanie Man. KG's not in a good condition. I need to calm him down. Come on, KG. Thank you. I can still do this. You and KG are staring each other down. Tommy, fight with us already! <laughs> so get back! <laughs> okay, they're putting a lot of emphasis on getting the dummies involved, so I feel like this is a good time for Kana. Kuramata stopped Kana. Oh, what are you doing? Nothing else I can do, right? Stop! If we lose, KG will... Why don't you give up, up already and take Sarah, KG? <laughs> Jeez. I don't know how that's going to help. Um... Yeah, no. <laughs> Sorry, Rico, but... Yeah, no. Um... I don't know if this is a good time or not, is the problem. Um, I'm gonna guess probably not, and I've only got one shot at that, is the issue. I guess Gein? We'll use Gein. Oh, the shovel's back. I found it! Woof! Use this now! Oh, this is no use as a weapon. I'll look for something better. enough i can't cooperate with you i don't want to die everyone just stop this enzo the torch is back huh hmm well what are my other options the other option is just find some way to tag him which i don't know how that's going to work but knowing me it's going to be the answer i think is stupid and it ends up being the right one i guess we'll try using the torch Okay, nope. 
<laughs> Did you intend to burn me with it? Don't bluff, seaweed head. All creatures are weak to fire. I'm a dolgeen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just go for it, Kitaro. We're almost... Wait, we're almost out of time. It has to be at the last second, doesn't it? Or he's going to get him again. Is that what it is? I bet you that's what it is. So we're really just kind of trying to distract him more than anything, right? I wonder if there's going to be one more stage after almost out of time. Um, what's Geek think now? I'll attack with the shovel. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to hope that almost out of time is close enough and go with it now. I got you, Beanie Man. You won't escape. Guitar is restraining Beanie Man with all of his might. Guitar is grabbing Beanie Man's legs. That's why we needed Kana. <laughs> we did it! Kizzy successfully tied him! So, I've lost? You truly keep surpassing my expectations. Keep your distance, everyone. Don't let Beanie Man tag you. <laughs> Throw to the end. Hey, KG, since you won, I'll give you a chance to overcome your trauma. <laughs> to face the dead? That's another reason why Asunaro makes it artificial intelligences. You don't mean... Look, he's right at your feet. Oh, don't do this. Still can't do it then? While KG was distracted, Beanie Man forcefully pushed him away. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My coffin was in just the right spot. Let me out, Beanie Man. No, KG, KG. I'll let you in on something neat, Miss Sarah. These coffins come with a very handy feature. Ta da They can cremate right on the spot. You mean he'll be burned? The timer's already running. If you aren't quick, he'll soon be steak. Let him out! Mr. Policeman's gonna die! Cheers my suggestion as floor master. I never said that losing a tag meant death, did I? If you would just hear out one wish, one wish of mine, I'll tell you a way you can save KG. What? <laughs> What's your wish? I'll have you sign that consent form. Oh boy. That sheet. It's the last one. Once you sign it, it'll be complete. The last one? There's definitely something up. But what other choice do I have? There's no other way to save KG. The rest is all up to you. Answer my request and save KG? Or stick to your intentions and kill him? Choose whichever you like, Sarah. Final chapter, part one, section A, end. That's it. Well, I'm glad I kept going, because I had a feeling we were close. Thank you for playing. <laughs> oh, man. Is there like a... Uh... No, there isn't. I did... Well, I should know that there isn't. It's not like a feature you can easily make an RPG maker. I was going to say, is there like a... Um sound test or whatever because i don't really like talking over the song because it's very loud um we will just continue from an old save or something where there's better music for talking over oh great i went to the one with no music whatever <laughs> uh, so i want to quickly talk about your turn to die and i'm going to take my headphones off so i don't um speak too loud because now there's nothing in my ears um i think I think it's really good in terms of... It's kind of like Danganronpa in this way. It's really good in terms of character writing. Um, it's just sometimes the plot's a little bit uh, dubious. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, it's natural in a game with this many choices that some of them would be a little bit shoddy. Like, for example, in the library, not knowing there were two things making noise because, you know, Rico's like... I know where the noise is coming from. And then she got one of them, but not the other. Um, 
but overall the puzzles are generally good like there was not very many where i was like Ugh, this is terrible it was only like that one room where the clock was like weird anyway <laughs> <laughs> so in terms of gameplay it's it's pretty good um it's just sometimes it's like oh okay so this is happening now and it feels a little unsatisfying um like in terms of the sacrifice the sacrifice i don't really see the point of it <laughs> um i know what you i know you're thinking like well it's so that people you wouldn't vote for get killed uh that is its purpose but at the same time why not do that in the main game and then have two people die in the trial and it's two people we don't like and then you redeem them after, right? Like, there could be a thing where Sarah even doesn't agree with the group on it. For example, if Alice made it to the trial, there would be very good reason to think that, you know, the group might vote him out just for being a criminal. Uh, right? <laughs> even though the person he murdered is probably a doll at this point. Um... <laughs> Which is, oh man, that's so unfortunate. <laughs> his, his whole life was ruined by that. Um, that said, I do kind of like the trial. I like the idea of being forced to choose somebody to vote out and it not being because they've done anything particularly wrong. Just that they're the least helpful or that they're the least um, uh, trustworthy. And I do also like the roles as someone who plays a lot of, has played a lot of Town of Salem and has been playing a lot of Among Us recently. Uh, I do like the idea of having roles that perform actions in the trial, like the key master and the sage. Um, I feel like there could be a little bit more variation if the game was to go on longer. Like, I feel like they could have added one card for each trial if it was like five chapters long. That would be a nice way to spice things up a bit. Like, maybe the sacrifice is, like, <laughs> the gimmick for one trial. Um, and then you have different cards. Because if you go to, like, Werewolf or whatever, there are so many roles that you could choose. This is basically just a game of Werewolf. You know how I, I, I say Fire Emblem is chess with people you care about? This is Werewolf if everybody was a character you cared about. <laughs> um, yeah... Like, you know, the so Sacrifice is the Jester, right? Or the Town Drunk. I can't remember what it is in Werewolf. But the person who wants to die in order to win the game. Um, similarly, what other roles is there? There could be, like, you know, a hunter, perhaps. Someone who has to find out who... Like, someone who has to find out what all the roles are in order to survive, perhaps. Um... That would be an interesting one. I'm trying to think of other roles other than just commoner, werewolf. There could be like de detective and investigator are basically the sage. Um, <laughs> medium would be an interesting one. It would be interesting if um, medium was a role for like one chapter, like I was saying, and they were basically just talking to the AIs, right, <laughs> of people who died. Um, that would actually be a really interesting idea for a Danganronpa chapter, is to have one person can actually converse with the dead people, quote-unquote, even though they're, you know... So they know who ki who the killer is, perhaps, but they don't want to share it, that kind of stuff, you know? Just to shake it up a bit more, because I feel like the second trial, while it was still good, was a little bit <laughs> weaker, just because um, it was the exact same thing again, right? Uh, in Danganronpa, you always have some diff minor difference in the way things work. Um, whether it be like a double murder, or maybe the murder was a suicide, and that's always strongest in the first game. Like in Danganronpa 1, it's obviously much stronger because they literally did the exact same pattern in the next two games for some reason. Like if Danganronpa shook it up in terms of the pattern when it came to the trials, it'd be a much better game in my opinion. <laughs> um... But, you know, like the impossible murder, that kind of stuff. And this game has a good setup for doing something like that. Um, but it's not over, so the final trial could be something like that. Uh, the one thing I do appreciate about it, though, is that it isn't afraid to pit the characters against the mastermind, quote-unquote, like all the time. 
Because I feel like that's something that Danganronpa also kind of dropped the ball on after the first game. Is that in the first game, even though it was like the cases were less well written. Um, well, <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, the like end game goal of defeating Junko was much more satisfying in that game. Because in Danganronpa 2, you basically just give it get it given to you on a silver platter and then you have to choose which side you want to you know fall on and that's it and in danganronpa v3 it's kind of the same deal <laughs> like you don't really feel like you're going up against the person who planned all of this the mastermind in v3 is just like haha i'm the mastermind bet you didn't figure that out until now haha <laughs> and that's it like they don't seem very imposing quote unquote <laughs> whereas uh junko in danganronpa 1 definitely was um, in terms of her being crazy and you also not knowing what about her to trust. And I feel like this game nails that on a lot of levels because there is so many times I went back and forth on whether I wanted to trust Safflin or um, Gashu. I never trusted Ranger, but that's okay because, you know, they realized that Ranger wasn't like a major antagonist and killed him off and actually kind of made an emotional moment out of it, sort of. Um, so, yeah. As for theories, I'm still going with the doll theory, especially um, with that blue book we found now, which I'm betting conveniently Connor won't get the chance to read. But um, it's, it sounds like he's talking to the AI Shin who's up in the security room, but the twist is probably going to be that it was Shin outside of the facility the entire time um, who was a doll. <laughs> It would also be a meta reason to explain why all of our skin in the in this is white, like once we enter the game. Um, I actually forgot. I I totally like blanked. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're when you're outside with like the pixel art, their skin is actually skin tone, but in their portraits it's white, and I just find that like interesting, you know. <laughs> there was also someone who theorized in the comments that Gein might be a traitor. Um, and I don't really consider that spoilers because at this point nobody knows if that's true or not. Um, if there was going to be a traitor among us, at this point it could really only be Gein, I think. Um, who else could it even be? Rico's had an arc. Um, Kutaro just had his arc, like, you know, conclude, right? um can't be well it could be us we could be technically the traitor because we're the one the facility is focusing on can't really be kana because she was you know related to people although i guess it could be no because she can die she can die so no probably not <laughs> and kg at this point has had his like whole thing exposed so i really don't think it's him either um but even if Gein is a traitor, I don't think he's a will it, like a witting traitor. He's more like a Kibo type scenario where they're related to the uh, the overall system, but don't really know it um, <clears throat> or know how. Although if we are all dolls, we're all related to the system here anyway. But yeah, I don't know how the game's going to end. I've got no clue. Um, Although it seems like Joe is done with in Chapter 3. So it's, I saw some people like saying, Who is Joe? What's, why is this Joe have this and that? Um, I don't know. <laughs> some people were like, Joe's the mastermind. But like, I wouldn't be the mastermind, dude. I wouldn't do that to you. Not after all we've been through. Um, if anything, again, I'd be like, Joe might be like our retainer essentially like if we are a doll out in the regular world joe would be like our um ward i guess we'd be his ward pretty sure that's how that works um but there is there is a good point in saying that joe did have an ai um in that secret room the rubble room and he was assumedly one of the participants um like now so why does he have an AI? That's that's weird. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will pick up this series again when the game returns. Um, as for what's coming next, well, we've got the Danganronpa anime reaction. Uh, and I guess we're going to be jumping back into Straw 2. 
it's it's they they're on like part three of the investigation i think so there's enough there for me to probably get there i've also got something else i'm going to be doing in the meantime as well probably one straw two one of this new thing and then one straw two and then one of this thing um just to kind of space it out a little bit more so hopefully at least we get to the end of chapter five um before i run out of episodes again uh but yeah that's what to look forward to bye like and subscribe <laughs>